Let's just, let's show. Look, he said, hey, guys, did, did you know Papa Shango talks? He said, hey, guys, I have a sound studio in my basement. Look how light and nice it is in here. Yes. It even has like an on-air switch over there with that red arrow. Look oh, at this. Papa Shango. Nice guy. Who knew? And so, he makes great apple pies. Who knew that? And they're a little like self-serve. Yeah. And they're crisp, golden, mm. uh, a few worms. But, you know, he said he hey. picked that up from the boogeyman. So right. I mean, what are we going to He's letting us use his studio basement. Beggars can't be choosers. All right. <sighs> so here's what we're doing on this Facebook Live video. We're doing Clash of Champions, not Clash of the Champions, because that would make sense. We're doing Clash of Champions picks, uh, the pay-per-view or special event that it's, WWE it's is doing. It's conceptually. Yeah, but right? Clash so of Champions. It's not of the Champions, because it's of Champions. All Champions. However, it's only Raw exclusive, so oh. <laughs> it should be the Champions. Clash of Raw Champions. Right, exactly. Uh, so, But what we're going to do is our picks, uh, Iron Cheek. Uh, is uh, holding guard. He is our uh, security he's right our now. Lookout. Yeah, he's yeah. our lookout. So he's not joining us, but he is uh, in safe hands with me, and uh, he is uh, he's, hanging out, he, having a great time. He's making one of the Stooges humble as we speak. He, yeah, he's you so don't want to see that. He's a great guy. Yeah, uh, but we are playing for the possession of the Iron Cheek action figure. He wants to come back with me. He told me. No, he doesn't. He said that to he me. Loves, he even told Papa Shango. He loves being with T Mac, which who doesn't? But what we're going to do is the picks, and so let's oh, get you it. can see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally did. <laughs> so what we're going to do uh -huh. is we're going to get it started right now. And yep. the first match of the night, and again, we're going off of WWE.com. Uh, so card subject to change. And we are doing this on a Tuesday night, because we're on the run. Yep. And we don't ever know when we can do this, so we just found some time. We're going to do it now. Papa Shango uses the basement on Wednesdays for his own purposes. Well, and the corporation's after us, so we yeah, got to keep them off and so keep them off guard. It's it's win-win. Yep. So here we go. Yep. So the first match of the night, again, according to WWE.com, we have Alicia Fox versus Nia Jax. Mm -hmm. Who you got? Nia Jax. I got, that's stupid. I got Nia Jax too. That's dumb. Yeah, that's going to be an easy one. <laughs> this is going to be a squash. Yeah. Yeah, She'll definitely. get in like one or two moves of offense, Alicia will. Uh, and, you know, Hey, look, you had one half of the greatest wrestling matches of all time. Can you replicate it, Can though? Can you do it with Nia Jax? We're going to see. But it, that's the kickoff match. Uh, that's the kickoff match. the Dolph match. kickoff show. Right. Second match, this is going to be a good one. We yeah. have Sami Zayn versus Chris Jericho. Mm -hmm. What do you got in that? I think he's going to put Zayn over. Because Zayn needs a good win to look legitimate. And I think they're going to want him to go up against Kevin Owens. And so, who better to put over a young talent? Chris Jericho. True. My reservation of picking Chris Jericho is you got to think WrestleMania, right? Because this was the perfect scenario for AJ Styles to go over, but who won at WrestleMania? True. Chris Jericho. True. That being said, I'm going with yeah. Sami Zayn. <laughs> it, it could be a Jericho win to set up more right. interaction. So that's but I think thing. he'll do something to the effect of lose, say, hey, Kevin Owens, why weren't you there for me? That starts the tension because Sami Zayn is the guy that – is the glue between Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho as far as a timeline of He's the people. Meat. Yeah, of people that know each other. Uh, so I think they'll play into that little friendship a little bit. So uh, I'm going Sami Zayn. Third right. match. Yeah, this the, is fun. I like this one. The first ever. First ever. Raw WWE Cruiserweight Champion. That's a lot of things to say. TJ Perkins. Do you want to, like, hey, what title is that? This is the WWE Raw Cruiserweight Championship. It's just the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, but it's on Raw. Because yeah. you never know down the line. They might They're going to have a SmackDown. SmackDown. Smack you never know. Uh, but it is uh, TJ Perkins versus the Brian Kendrick. Who you got in this? Perkins. I don't think they're going to. Unless they want to make it hot potato to start to show everybody's capable. But I just feel like they're going to stick with Perkins to this one at least. Yeah, I think that uh, Brian Kendrick, as far as his character right now, works better as the underdog overcoming obstacles and so he needs to get knocked down to then get built back up so you can't just have him win two matches instantly for the raw crowd if they never watch the cruiserweight right. classic because that doesn't make any sense uh and i think he does that well the sympathetic baby face or even sympathetic heel as far as a tortured raven-esque because he's kind of going down that road if you notice uh i'm going with tj uh, perkins oh, Sean, I said raven's coming over uh, tomorrow night, that's what's yours. Quote the Raven. He's going to stop by. He's going to quote the Raven. He doesn't come here to parts unknown never very often. Never more. But never more. Get it? Yep. 
All right, so we're both going T.J. Perkins in. Yeah. All right. We're all the same right now. Huh? Yep. And then the best of seven series, match number seven. Does this still earn a title shot? I think so, yes. And we've got Cesaro versus Sheamus. Who you got? Cesaro. It's, we got Kevin Owens as the champ. I don't feel like they're going to put Sheamus over this. Although, I mean, you know, w- rumor is Cesaro's not in the greatest of, uh, of yeah relationships with the company now. But I, I just feel like it, if it's Sheamus, this whole thing was a waste. Which it it, it's, it is even if it's Cesaro. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a lose lose as far as who wins. Uh, just to be different, because you said Cesaro. Yeah, I'll uh, go Sheamus, huh? I feel confident. I'll go Sheamus. There you go. Shooky. Shooky. All right, here we go. Shooky. Now we have the Raw Tag Team Champion match. Ooh. It is the New Day versus Gallows and Anderson. Who do you got? I still think that the New Day is going to win. I'm going to go Gallows and Anderson, then it'd be different. Okay. Which I was going to pick them anyway. Yeah. But I, I know that New Day's reign now is 758 it's million enough. days or whatever. It's enough. It's... But I don't think... That they're still, I think they're still trying to figure out what Gallows and Anderson is. They tried the sure. comedy, now they're going away from that. But now I don't think that they need two stone-faced tag team champions that go around beating up people. Burp, 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 burp. That's not entertaining. Yeah, and you also so, got to think of the flip side. Who's next? Who then? Well, this is a heel, right? So, well, you could have Gable and Jordan maybe, but they're going to be tied up with the Usos. What are you talking about? But who's going to... Oh, no, that's SmackDown. That's SmackDown. That's SmackDown. Yeah. See? See? So who's on uh, Raw? Who's the... Well, this is what I think they're going to do. Because they keep touching on it yeah. and alluding to it, but then they never go any farther with it. I think this is where maybe that the next Raw pay-per-view, we're going to get Enzo and Cass versus New Day. Someone on New Day is going to turn. My gut, for some reason, says Xavier Woods. Yeah. And then that's when Enzo and Cass get the belt. I feel like he'll be the one who can play... Or get more use out of a heel turn. Right. So, uh, but for this pay-per-view, I'm going New Day. You said Gallows and Anderson. Gallows and Anderson. Okay. All right. Next, we have the Raw Women's Champion match. It's a triple threat, because those are always fun. Yep. Uh, We have Charlotte versus Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Who you got? That's a hard one. Uh, Yeah. I feel like it could be any of them, and I feel like none of them should get it. Like, I don't... Mm -hmm. I'm going to grasp and say, I, I think, I don't think they'll hit Bailey now that quick. Okay. Uh, although, you know, why not? But yeah, I felt like it was either Charlotte or Bailey. I said that about this. I'll go Charlotte. I'll say Charlotte. You're saying Charlotte. Yep. I think this is when somehow uh, Dana Brooke costs. Charlotte the match, that's the straw that breaks the camel's back. You see Papa Shango's security out there? Yeah, he's a big dude. <laughs> so, all right. He ain't playing around. Woo. But I think uh, Dana Brooke costs Charlotte the match as far as like not being a part of the outcome. Right. She's, she'll be out of commission, knocked out. Oh, so where she was supposed to be, right. she wasn't. Sorry. Dana Brooke will hit her and mm-hmm. knock her out. And then I think this is what happens. So I think that goes Charlotte and Dana Brooke, right? We go that way. We then get... This is my wager. I'm wagering. This is why Shiki Bailey's going. Sasha turns heel, beats Bailey, and Ch- then we get Sasha Bailey. Bailey, Bailey face. Who, yep, yep. Sasha heel. We try to recreate that NXT magic, yep. and away we go. We so then we got unsuccessfully two yep. try. Mm-hmm. Nice whistle, Anthony says. Yeah, come on. Right. So uh, that's my pick. Um, next, we have the United States Championship match. We have Rusev. 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 He always has to get it in front of the camera. Have you noticed that? Every week. Can't, can't help but get in your face. Rusev. Uh, uh, Rusev versus Roman Reigns. Who you got and why? Roman Reigns. Uh, I'm going Roman. I th- I'm going to go Roman because they want to strap this guy bad. He they likes real, straps. They re, he loves on. to get strapped. He likes straps on. Uh, yeah, they want <laughs> strap-ons. <laughs> That's Roman. His words. Right. <laughs> so, that said, is it hot in here? <laughs> uh, Papa Shaka turned on the heat. That security card is massive. All right. Yeah. So, 
Where were we? I don't know. You're talking about massive security guards and strap-ons. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did this confuse you? I talked about this all the time. Right. Roman Reigns, they want to strap him. They know the world title is going to get them nothing but serious boos. The U.S. title, people are going to boo it, but people half don't give shit anyway. It's, you know what I mean? It's one that it's palatable to us. We're going to go, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. These Shield guys... Yeah. The other two, I mean, what? So Dean Ambrose did the the U.S. Uh-huh. the IC, right? Uh-huh. Right. He did the IC too. Or yeah. He just did the U.S. U.S. He Seth Rollins. Did, did he get world? Well, he did he the got? he did the Intercontinental title because remember him and Kevin Owens were yeah. switching them back. And did forth. Seth Rollins ever get a mid card title before he went world title? Well, he got the United States title when he beat when he, well, Cena. He was already the world champion. Yeah, he was yeah. a world champion and mm-hmm. U.S. champion. So yeah, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Dean is the only one who did the mid card route first. Uh, but it kind of feels like Roman's skill level. Well, they both had tag. Remember? They did have tag yeah. titles, yeah. He's he's could be a great main event. And I don't think, at this time now, had they not forced him before, might have been ready to do that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It might have even been ready to do that then. We just said, nah, fuck that guy. Right. right. I love Rusev. I think he's Who? amazing. Oh, Rusev! Rusev. Uh, he's, he's the best. And yeah, he's great. I think he's amazing. I think they're going to start flirting again with the breakup angle of Lana and Rusev. I think they love that too much, Especially and it's too easy riding for them. Weekly. Big, sexy Roman Reigns. Well, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Well, not even with Roman. I just, just think anybody. something. Yeah. And because of my main event pick, I'm going with Roman Reigns on this because it's heel baby face. I think they still love that traditional type of thing. So you're so, going Roman. Roman for this. Right. Which would then, in the main event, Mm -hmm. let's just roll right into that. We have Kevin Owens, champion, taking on Seth Rollins. Who you got? Uh, I'm saying Kevin Owens. I am too. Yeah. Are you wagering anything? Because I am. No, I'll let you do that. I'm going to wager a point. Hmm. I think we get Triple H back. Shit. And we get uh, Triple H costing Seth Rollins the title. And I again, hate you. Yeah, I do too. Oh, that's all right. You're gonna miss these other ones. So nah. shiki baby. Yeah, no, I don't think shiki. so. So I think Kevin Ooh, Owens wins on. with assistance from uh, Triple H. Seth Rollins then starts going after the corporation, the fake corporation, the real ones after real us. Real ones, fuck it, dude, man. And Papa Shango put up this huge security. Actually, guard Seth, item. it's the same corporation. We can help. All right, help us, help you, you help us, family. Anyhow. Um, so I'm going Kevin Owens. So that is our Clash of Champions pick. Uh, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, tell a friend. Rusev. He has to get close. And uh, Rusev. we will be back soon. Podcast coming soon from Parts Unknown, Papa Shango's basement. Basement studio. Bye. Papa Shango.